anyone looking to get into project management, there's a few different skills I always recommend developing. Uh, one of the first is this idea that a project manager is a jack of all trades and a master of none. You always have your finger in all these different pots and it's really exciting to work with all the different groups and help them translate their message kind of cross medium, right? You have your clients, you have your team, and even within that team you have your designers and your developers. So having that base to be able to communicate with them is really, really important. But more than you talking, the most important thing is that you can listen, that you can listen to the people in the room that are smarter than you, that you can understand what they're trying to tell you and how you can best support them. Try to always be curious, always be learning. And then at the end of the day, keep that knowledge to yourself unless it's really needed and listen to others. My name is Emma Conrad and I'm a project manager here at TTT. I took a really long and kind of winding road to get to where I am today. I started as a child wanting to be a writer. I ended up being a little bit more practical in that and studying journalism. And for a long time I worked in communications. And I really liked that aspect of it, talking to people, coordinating people, figuring out how to frame something, how to sell a story. But what was always missing was a little bit of that digital component that really intrigued me. I was always teaching myself how to code little snippets. I was looking into how to build websites and, and how to sell that skill. And I just kind of became obsessed. It was something that I knew I needed to be part of my job. So I went back to school. I got my master's in project management and digital media. And uh, since then, I've been working on projects in the tech sphere. And I love it. It just combines everything that I wanted. I get the people. I get the communication. I get to be that pathway between my team members and my clients and make sure everybody's on the same page. And I get to do it in the industry that excites me, that's always developing, that always has these new and innovative things happening. An ideal project is such a hard question for me to answer for two reasons. The first is that so far, every project I've worked on at TTT is something I have not anticipated or expected. It's almost like showing me how diverse so many of these industries are and opening my world to all these different possibilities. And I don't know if I'd give that up necessarily, but in a perfect world, there are, there are two projects I'd really love to work on. The first is something that's definitely a little bit more social justice oriented. Before I came here, I actually worked for a nonprofit, an environmental nonprofit that protected the Ottawa River. Something along those veins, like a women in tech involvement project, something to encourage more women to come into tech, I would also I love to be part of. And then on the other side, it's just one of my hobbies that I think is vastly underrated and doesn't get a lot of attention, but I play roller derby. And I think there's so much space in that area to create a product that supports a community that is so vibrant and so involved. So there's so much space for opportunity there. I think that there's some incredible people already working in that tech space, but there's so much room to grow and I'd love to work on a project like that.